Hey Bratz, welcome back to the channel and today you can see things look a little different. We've got no green screen because today I'm going to be teaching you how to build your own mixed reality studio. We're going to go through the basics. It's going to be part one. This is just going to be how to build the setup and then in further chapters there will be how to set up live mixed reality, how to set up OBS to work with it, how to make sure your green screen looks good. We'll be going through all that but today let's get to work. Step one, the first and most important step is gonna to be to figure out what size green screen you use. The mixed reality software that I use is called Live. It works best if you have a green screen. You can use a depth sensing camera that does not require one, but in my opinion, it just doesn't look nearly as good as it does with a green screen. Now there's a couple different ways to figure out how big of a green screen you're gonna want here. One that you can do is just buy an oversized green screen that you know will be plenty of space. You can always tuck the corners back. Or two, you can take the time to measure the dimensions of the room around the area that you want to wrap the green screen around. So in measuring my play area, it was eight and a half feet wide, six and a half feet long, with an eight foot high ceiling. I was able to figure out that 20 feet would give me complete coverage from the edge of the hallway all the way around and back to the far wall so that I'd have over 180 degrees of coverage. So I ordered a 20 by 10 foot green screen off Amazon, meaning I have over 180 degrees of green screen so that even if I'm building mixed reality like I did before in the racing games and I'm able to actually turn my head a bit with a camera strapped to my head, I'll still be seeing green screen even if I look left to right as long as I don't look more than that 180 degrees that I have covered. Step two is hanging the green screen from the ceiling. So what I'm doing is I'm taking thumbtacks and tacking it up in place so that I can continue to push this out, get everything in the right place before I finally actually screw it into place. So with each thumbtack, you can then readjust the screen to see how much of an arc you wanna have, how far out you want to reach in the room, and then use the screws once you have a final setup and pull each thumbtack out. So if you were only gonna be filming Mixed reality videos from the waist up, or if you're just doing gaming commentary videos most of the time with this in the background, edit it out, then you're totally done here. You don't have to do any more. Uh, for me, I'm gonna go a little further in depth here. I have full body mixed reality videos, head to toe, and so we've gotta have not only the green screen, we've gotta have some green floor here as well to make that work. So we're gonna take you through the next couple steps and show you how to make that happen. Step three. You want to make sure if you're going to use a mat like I do to help you stay in place that you are going to screw this into the floor so that it does not slide around once you get your other green screen over the top of it. So I adjusted this around and reached my arms out until I found what I wanted to be the center of my play space and made sure that from every portion of standing on this mat, if I reached out, I wouldn't be hitting the walls of the green screen. Then you screw this down to the floor and make sure that your screws are going down deep enough that you're not actually going to also be stepping on these and hurting yourself. Step four. Once your mat is screwed in place, I put some double stick tape down over the tops of each screw and then put duct tape over that as well so that no matter how much weight you put on these, you won't risk stabbing your foot or hurting it on a screw and keep your feet safe. Step five. Now you want to cover the entire rest of the floor with the second green screen that you're using, making sure that it comes out to each edge that you want it to, but that it stays flat. You're going to be walking around on the screen screen, so you don't want to be tripping over it. So you're going to get it completely flat. And then same thing, I'm going to screw this down into the floor, each of the edges, pulling it tight with every screw so that it's a nice flat surface. It's going to be easy for the camera to knock it out, but it's also going to be very clean looking and it's going to stay nice. We're going to be able to walk around on it. We'll even be able to vacuum this because it's going to be hooked down to the floor so it'll be easy to clean it'll look really nice and professional and it'll be easy to record with it won't be tripping us up or causing us problems now this would be a really great thing to do and if i wasn't recording i probably would have done it that way would be to not have your desk and stuff in here while you're doing the setup because now i'm having to try and feed the green screen underneath in here while all of this is running so not exactly ideal but we're gonna make it happen Step six, final step here. We're just gonna run the rest of the green screen underneath the desk and tack that all down and then just tape any part of it that's gonna be exposed to the carpet to help prevent the chair from catching it if we're moving around or for our feet ever catching underneath of it. Okay, after a whole lot of work, we have got the green screen all done. So I busted out the GoPro to make this all a little easier to see with the super wide lens here. So basically we've got our 
We've got our computer set up right here. We've got the edge of this carpet all down here so that the door won't even mess with it. It's got tape holding it down extra. Our clips will help hold this green screen steady. And now we've got tons of green screen coverage. So if we're using a wide angle lens, if we're doing something where we need to turn around and move, everything is gonna be in frame here. We don't have to worry about running out of green screen. So it, uh, I'm super happy with how it turned out. Floor looks really, really clean and good. It's nice and straight. And then the walls, they of course have some wrinkles with the way that it's set up, but it's not gonna hurt anything with what we're doing with mixed reality and that because the lighting will be easy enough to change. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was informative to anybody who's hoping to set their own up. And uh, yeah, hit me up in the comments. Let me know if there's any questions, anything you have, anything that I could have done that might have made this setup a little easier or something you like to do better. And I will see you in another game.